Hello everyone. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that I received my new book today. So there it is. Yes, I know, I know, I know they fixed the uh, photo, but oh well. Anyway, it's called The Magical Response. And the purpose of this book is a little bit different from the other ones I've written, which are more trying to find the really, you know, good things about uh, Japan and uh, trying to instill as much um, confidence as I can in the Japanese uh, people's style. Uh, this one is more, how do you explain the Japanese approach to business uh, in English and then also, you know, reasons that I see for the difference between the non-Japanese style and the Japanese style. So I'm not saying Western or whatever. I'm just saying whatever I've seen, all the different countries that uh, I've interacted with and then the Japanese style and what I see as some of the differences and then how a Japanese business person could overcome that. Like how could they explain it well? Because a lot of Japanese business people have not um, had good practice in trying to explain why certain things are the way they are. And I think a lot of people that are not Japanese uh, get very confused by sometimes like the way things are done here. So, for instance, um, basically every chapter starts with um, a question, okay, that I would hear lots and lots and even I myself felt, okay, like for instance, um, why do Japanese people need to check the details so many times, okay? And what I would consider maybe not quite the right way to answer would be, so I give an example of something that I think wouldn't be as successful, uh, would be because we want to know what you are doing. So if you answered that way, that might make the person a little defensive or, you know, basically all bosses want to know. Anybody wants to know what the other person is doing. So you need a little bit clearer explanation. So uh, the one that I'm suggesting is, because an excuse like my subordinate mistakenly did it will not fly in Japanese companies. And um, I know it doesn't fly in a lot of other companies, but I just try to explain um, the, the very sort of subtle kind of differences in approach uh, in the Japanese way of doing things and the non-Japanese way of doing things. So it has like a lot of explanation after that. So it's uh, basically called The Magical Response. <laughs> Uh, no kirikaishi. And um, I really, really hope that this will help a lot of Japanese people who are really working hard in the internationalization that's going on in Japan, as well as in international environments overseas, just to be able to explain better, you know, why you do it this way. Um, there is no perfect way. There is no wrong way. Uh, I just noticed that everybody has a different way. So if there's any way that, you know, my 29 years in Japan can help me figure out a way to help Japanese business people explain better their style, then I would be really happy about that. So I hope that um, this is a helpful hint, offers helpful hints to a lot of people in Japan and overseas. But um, anyway, I just wanted to share that I got it. I'm very happy about it. Bye-bye.